Hi, my review is on the movie Apollo 18, which opened up on uh, September 2nd. Um, starring Warren Christie, Lloyd Owen, and Ryan Ribbons. Robbins, excuse me. Um, these, uh, I know you hear these names and you probably don't have any idea who these guys are. They're actually, I believe, UK actors from the UK. They've done very little work. Um, they've done a lot of maybe television and, and theater, you know, plays and stuff. I don't, I, I, they're, they're really kind of unknowns, and I think that's why they use them in this movie, to make it seem like it's real, you know. If they had gotten well-known actors for these parts, it would have seemed kind of, um, it would have seemed, you know, it wouldn't seem realistic enough. Now, the actor Lloyd Owen, he did, pl in the old, in the TV series in the 90s, there was a TV series called The Young Indiana Jones. Uh, Lloyd Owen played Indy's father a young, um, you know, Dr. Henry Jones Sr. And um, so that's about all I really know about these guys. You know, I noticed that uh, on uh, the, inter on the uh, Internet Movie Database, um, there's, these guys really don't have much of a profile. And there was only three people in this whole movie. That was the cast, those three guys that I mentioned. The, the two astronauts that went down to the lunar surface and the command module pilot. That was, that was it. That was their entire, uh, entire cast. Um, there were no actors and actresses or, you know, at Mission Control. They had scenes where they're talking to Mission Control, but sh there was no actors for that. Um, there were no actors for that, uh, for that parts, or those parts. It was just these guys go up to the moon and, uh, you know, and then they start experiencing all these strange things that are going on. Um, the movie is, seems kind of like the Blair Witch Project, you know, because of the quality of the way the film looks, you know. It doesn't look like a big, you know, blockbuster movie kind of video quality. I think the reason why they made the quality of the film look kind of old and cheap looking is because to make it look like it was from a camera from the early 1970s around the time of Apollo, the Apollo moon programs ended. They used a camera to make it look like it was old footage and make it seem like it's a real mission. Now, Apollo 18, or, um, Apollo 18 is supposed to be a secret moon mission to the moon. Um, and, uh, for, you know, I could go into the tell you about more about it, but I don't want to um, spoil anything, but um, see, it's, it's a secret mission to the moon, and I, and I know people would think, you know, how could, how could NASA have a secret moon mission without anybody knowing about it? I mean, launching a big Saturn rocket, I mean, you'd think that uh, people would know about it, right? My thinking is this, if See, uh, shortly after the moon program, Apollo program, um, uh, there was the Skylab program. And I do believe they used Saturn rockets, even on that. They could tell the public that they're just going up to the Skylab station, when really they're on their way to the moon. So launching from Cape Kennedy wouldn't be, I mean, as, you know, you could, you could cover that up using the Skylab excuse. Um, but they don't mention that in the movie, but that's just my thinking of what NASA would probably have done. Now, the movie is pretty creepy. Like I said, it's like Blair Witch. Um, and uh, there's things that happen on the moon. Um, there's, I mean, there's, it's, it's a pretty, it's, it's, it's kind of scary, you know. It's uh, kind of, there's, there's a lot of shocking and surprising things that you'll find in the film. I really wish I could go through the pacific, specifics of the film and um, describe um, the things that they're dealing with on the moon. But it's the kind of film that you really don't want to spoil to somebody. Tell them, you know, look, you know, they found this and they found that. Um, you just have to see it yourself. But let's just put it this way. There's some creepy things going on on the moon that has these two guys spooked. And, you know, there's two astronauts on the moon and there's the guy in the command module that's going around the moon. But the movie, I liked it. I thought it was good. I thought it was unique in its own way. Um... 
and uh, you know I, th you know it was pretty it was a pretty interesting movie, um, so yeah I, I, I liked it. That's my review, and I would give this movie because of its uniqueness, and because of its um, create creativity. I would probably I would get, overall I would give this a B plus. You know, um, like I said, it doesn't have a big cast. It has, it has the smallest cast I've ever seen for a movie before. Um, it's just three you know guys, three astronauts, and uh, so I would you know I would recommend it if you want to go to a kind of a you know kind of a scary movie and you're you know you like the moon program things and all that you might see it with a little interest but it is an interesting movie it's unique in its own way um, the film quality looks like it was done with an old camera from the early 70s like I was mentioning so you know don't go into this movie thinking you're gonna see a movie as good as Apollo 13 I mean you know but it was good um, and that's my review I, I for what it is I would give it a B plus alright everybody Thumbs up on this one, and I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye now.